Hi guys, welcome back to another Creative Tab tutorial. In this um, tutorial, we're going to look at um, how to match the black points of two images which were compositing over the top of each other. Now, in the previous video, if you haven't seen it, what we did is we sort of color matched this element of the ruins to the background. Okay, so there is still, obviously, just so you're all aware, this isn't a grayscale image. If we just oversaturate everything, you can see there is still a lot of color information in here. Um, let's get rid of that. Um, so, yeah. Essentially, what we're doing is um, we've color corrected it in. It's quite a grayscale, gloomy image. Um, but what we need to do next is match the black point. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, though, I'm going to drag my ruin over to the plane, and I'm going to show you exactly what the problem is. So what we've done essentially is we've added um, this image of a ruins on top of this this background image. Okay, and when I say match the black point. Basically, what you want to do is you want to match the darkest point of your image which you put on top, because this image has got this image has got a shadow in it. So is this image. Okay, it's got a shadow under here. Now, if you look carefully, the shadowy Im the shadowy or the darkest point of this ruin is lighter than the shadowy darkest point of this, and you want to match these images together. So what needs to happen? is this image which we've added, the darkest point needs to be as dark as the darkest point in the background, okay? Really easy to do. Now I've already got a levels and a hue and saturation on top from the previous video where we color corrected it together. So you wanna make sure you do your color correction first before you match your blacks. Um, now what I'm gonna do next is put an additional levels on top and link it, so hold in Alt, and click in between these two layers so then it just links so whatever we do it only affects the ruins okay so let's put that back to one um, yeah so it's only going to affect these ruins right so that being said i'm also going to create an additional um, adjustment layer called exposure click there and i don't want this one linking just to my ruins because I want to I want it to affect everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck. Let's zoom out. This is a good process to do. I'm going to chuck the exposure up, and basically, looking at both images, it's, this chucking the exposure up is going to show me the darkest point of my background and my the darkest point of this because everything else will get overexposed to white. So you can see as we chuck it up. Yeah, as I thought. The darkest point, we can't even see any of the ruins anymore if I turn it on and off. All it's doing is covering up some of the shadow of the background. So the darkest point of that background image, if I turn the exposure off, is this shadow in here. So it's just, it's only showing that bit through. So what we want to do is turn our ruins back on. And again, you can't see any of it purely because it's, if we turn this off, it, this this bit is just covering over the top of there. So if I turn it on, it's, it's just white on top, right? So what I'm going to do is, with this exposure still turned on, this levels that I created earlier, I'm going to get this levels and the black point by here at this bottom end, I'm just going to slowly, or I'll do it fast at first. You can see as I increase it, the, the shadowy parts come back in. So what I want to do is I want to increase this this black point area until the darkest point of the ruins comes in. So if I go up one by one, I've just clicked in there and I'm doing my up arrow. And right there, I'm getting to about 10, I think it was. So let's go to 10. My down arrow isn't working. 10, it's starting to creep back in. You could go to 11. There'd be no worries with going to 11. There we go. So what we've got, if we zoom out, We've now got, that means that our black points are matched because the darkest point of this, which is the shadows, is coming through barely, just like the background is barely coming through. So if we turn our exposure off and just turn this levels on and off, you can see, that actually, if I pull this image, if I pull my ruin just by here and we look at the, these dark areas, if I turn this levels that I made on and off, you can actually see it's, it's kind of a little bit more contrasty and it's compound this black point oh what have i done <laughs> this black point here is now comparable with that because when we turn the exposure on and yeah they both 
they both stay in more or less till the end that the background does marginally stay in a little bit more because you can see a couple specks of it there but i mean you're only going to go up one more point i would have thought there you go there is actually a little bit of a shown through so you could go to 12 but you know you don't need to go any further than that okay so all that's left to do now is zoom out and i'm just going to place my ruins back over where they were originally over by here i don't think i scaled them down i can't really remember um but the only adjustment we've made if i turn it on and off is that but it now fits in the scene a lot better okay and that's just a oh, turn get i'm going to delete the exposure uh, but yeah that's basically how you match the blacks between um, some images and it's, it's a basic compositing rule um, and will make your comps look hell of a lot better or your map paintings so cheers for tuning in hope you kind of learn stuff and pick some stuff up um, give me a comment saying what you want to see next or if this video helped give it a like subscribe and all that and yeah cheers see you again soon mm -hmm.